Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Zootessia. I am so happy to see you guys. So I have just gotten back from our little side quest, which is going to be released at the same time as this video. So if you guys want to watch the side quest first, in case you're into the side quest, I highly recommend it because I went back to Twilight Forest and I got some amazing things. I dropped off all of our gear from yesterday's adventure, and then I went back to Twilight Forest because I was just feeling the foresty, twilighty itch. And oh my goodness, we got some interesting stuff tanked. What kind of interesting stuff? A second baby zombie somewhere. I, this isn't the baby zombie. I think this is actually the zombie villager right here. And then we got some fireflies and then we got a lot of, a lot of goodies. Oh my gosh. We've got another bat. We've got more, more zombie. I think this is actually the, the we got two or three villager zombies. Like I think we've got, yeah, we got three villager zombies. Can you believe that? Three of them. Also a lot of string, which I desperately needed. So I'm really glad we have the string. Uh, I got a lot of zombie jerky for Lily, Tate and Pine. And then let's see. Oh, I got some new music discs. We're gonna have to go put those in the house. There's another zombie. So yeah, we definitely have, we've got three zombie villagers and one zombie baby. So we'll have to figure out what to do with the zombie baby. I kind of want to start like a zombie baby daycare in the cave exhibits. So we might take him to the cave exhibits and make a zombie baby daycare with him. <laughs> <laughs> so that might be what we do today. We got some iron horse armor, another trochopedia we can give to Persephone, a lot of the uh, uncommon seeds that come in the first version of Plant Mega Pack's crop items, more zombie flesh, so more f treats for the puppies. We'll feed those to the puppies in just a second. A little bit of gunpowder from creepers, and actually if we can find like a creeper spawner that we can farm gunpowder at, that would be amazing because we really need a lot of that. But the string is very much needed and actually some of the cotton. Getting a bunch of cotton was one of our big goals when we went to Twilight Forest. And we're gonna be planting cotton and naming the bats, oh, and releasing the snake and curing the villagers today. So there is a lot to do in the zoo, Tate. And oh my gosh, my gear is really, my gear has seen better days. But let's feed the puppies their zombie treats. Mom went to Twilight Forest without you. I know, guys. But there's just so many ravines there. I don't think it would end well. All right. Oh, and then I'm starving. Jeez, let's get some vegetable soup. I still want to make my special garden just for the green snails. Because I think that would be really fun. All right. So let's pop up here. We're going to go inside the house. My little house. Oops, where I left all the doors. I left everything open. That's because the wolf attacked the lake duck a few days ago, and I just tore out of here. I was like, lake duck, no, and I ran for it. Oh, and actually, I was going to put these in the chest, but I just remembered because we've got, let's see, cat, 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 13 and 13 and 13. But I just remembered we can actually build a little, I think, music rack. I think, or like, there's something, it's like rack. Is it rack? Yeah, here it is. Like it's a little disc rack. So we just need some planks, some slabs, and I mean, and some sticks. So let's go build a little rack and just like put it up in our house. Um, and then, ooh, I want to get an item frame and I want to frame one of our peacock fans. I'm going to grab the non-used peacock fan and frame it in my bedroom. Hello, Bella. I swear we will spend some time with you. I promise. And then we are going to do, oh, and Persephone, I have a new, there you go, Persephone. I cleared up your, your books and I have a new Chocopedia for you. So there you go, darling. Very nice to see you again. I'm going to wiggle through here. Hello, Major Calhoun, Captain Cass. Good to see you again. And I'm going to wiggle down here. There we go. All right. And let's make our little music rack. Look at the fighting crabs. I think they appreciate each other's company though. They're always hanging out together. That's awesome. All right. And then we can just use any type of that and three of those. Oh, and then I want to make a, yeah, I want to make an item frame too. So let's see. And then we're going to lay those flat and one, two, three, disc rack. Boom. Nice. And then to make item frames, I think I can use, okay. Yeah. Penguin skins in the center 
because I think I have a bazillion penguin skins left over from the red penguin apocalypse <laughs> of the old world. That was that was in the early hundred episodes when we had those flame penguins show up out of nowhere and just start attacking us in droves. That was kind of awesome. All right, let's put these away. And then let's see. I've got yeah, just one bat. Anything I need to leave here? Mm, maybe like the ores and the stones. So let's see. Mossy stone goes in here. And raw ores. Coal doesn't really count, but I'm gonna throw it in there anyway. Let's see. And let's see. Coal ore, tin ore, aluminum ore, lapis. Actually, I'm gonna keep the lapis as decorative pieces. And the aluminum, actually. And some of the gold. Eh, no, not the gold. Those are going to be like decoration pieces that we'll put in the cave exhibits. And then anything else I need to put away? Not really that I'm in the mood to sort through right now. I want to cure villagers and do things like that. So, all right, let's see. Anything in here? Anything in here? Uh, nothing that we can't deal with later. Okay. I know, I know I'm being lazy, Nightlock. I'm sorry. <sighs> he is scolding me. It was the bone meal. That's what I was trying to put away. All right, bone meal here and the iron here and then the saddle the iron saddle for the horses right here there there nightlock i know i'm being a little bit lazy not sorting everything but oh and then i need to go downstairs and get my peacock fan to put in my room oh vines there we go how's everybody doing doing pretty good oh and then i guess while we are down here let's go ahead and we're going to grab this clear glass so we can start working on our bamboo rat exhibit too. Oh, there's just always so much to do and the zoo always so much to do. Even with daily episodes, we still like rush through and just have so much to tackle. So we're gonna take this second peacock feather fan. I still can't believe we got the peacock feather fans. And we're gonna take it upstairs and put it down as decoration. Let's see, I'm gonna, in fact, while we sort through things real quickly, yeah, pretty much this entire bag is going to be stuff for the, the cave exhibits. Ah, good, and we do have some more golden apples. So we'll use those two golden apples over at the clinic to cure the zombies that we caught. And then we will use one of these single-use safari nets to catch, re-catch the baby zombie. So there we go. And then this is going to be for our, our little bamboo rat exhibit, Experiment 626. We probably almost have enough because I think we still have quite a bit of it left over at, um, what am I thinking, Experiment 626, over at the cave. It actually isn't, I hate like sitting here farming it, but it's really not that bad. Someone came up with the clear, like the brilliantly clear idea of actually having a NPC trade that clear glass so I don't have to sit there and just farm it. So I'll think about it because I like running around and doing stuff. All right. Into the house. We'll put these away. <laughs> then we will go and plant the cotton. And then, Tate, we will go and cure the villagers because it's a busy day in the zoo. And sometimes you just have to tackle the chores that arrive to you. And that was fun. I really enjoyed popping over to Twilight Forest, so we'll probably start doing a few more side quests over there. And I'm thinking definitely some visits with our friends are well overdue. Where can I put that? Oh, you can just put it straight up on the side of the wall. That is too cool. Okay. Let's get all of our music discs out. And then how do I fill it up? Oh my gosh. <laughs> we can just like straight up stick them in. Oh, I'm so doing that. And then let's see, I really want my peacock feather, my peacock fan. I'm going to put it over here because I really want to be able to like admire it. No, 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 don't use it. There. Oh, it's like one of my, my big treasures. So it'll go there. Then let's finish putting our music discs away. Can I line them up just right? Can I like get you out? Oh, there we go. That's much easier than individually tucking them away. Um, in fact, we're going to scoot all of them down one. Look at that. That is like showing off some treasure right there, if you ask me. That really, truly does feel like showing off some treasure. So, uh, do I have a sink upstairs? I don't think, I don't have a sink in my house. Because we haven't, 
<laughs> we haven't used my, my house as a house, like as a kitchen, since we moved to the new world. I'm going to have to like redo my house. Why isn't that on my list? I'm pretty sure it is actually. <laughs> well, let's snooze the night away. And then we're going to go outside and we are going to collect some water. I guess we can pop into the memorial garden to do that. And we are going to go and plant the cotton. And I actually want to plant the cotton above where the rabbits are. Because, you know, like cottontail rabbits, cotton, you see, you see. So there's a little clearing in the trees above where the rabbits are that we're going to make a little cotton grove. Where we can just pop over there, hopefully pretty easily. Whenever we're checking on escaping rabbits, at least. Nom, 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 yum. And then, okay, we'll leave her alone because she's she's busy harvesting things. <gasps> My goodness, look at all of your kidlets. Good job, turnip head. Ethan will be very grateful. Whoops, sorry, turnip head. I don't mean to like seem to threaten you by throwing an axe in your face. There's that little slug. It is figuring it out. It is figuring out how to get in here. You're gonna have to watch out, turnip head. It's, it's being a pretty smart slug. Oh, and then actually we can get some water from right there. Very useful. In fact, I'm probably going to need a little bit more water. So where are my buckets? Let's get four more water. We can just stop right here at our little well. Maybe we should set up little wells like this at random intervals through the zoo. That makes a lot of sense. Just for basic zoo maintenance, doesn't it? Oh my gosh! We could consider them like drinking fountains for the people! <gasps> I love how these ideas just kind of like show up out of the blue. But alright, where I want to plant the cotton is actually... Eh, no help! Hello Agent Glacier! Thank you for watching over the, the memorial area. Is actually like up here. I want to plant the cotton above the bunnies up here. So I'm not going to knock down any of the trees. We're going to work with the natural landscape. We're going to remove this grass. And we're going to plant cotton up here because I just think that would be really cute to have a bunch of cotton up above where all the bun buns are, the little cottontail rabbits. Because these are in our, our zoo lore, cottontail rabbits. So, and then we'll, we'll make like a little path to get up here easier. Let's collect all these seeds. You know what we need? Somebody in town to be like a, a garden shopkeeper who we can trade seeds to. Why have we not done that yet? Why did that just occur to me? Oh my gosh, that's like something we should have been doing for ages now. So let's see. We're going to dig under this tree. And this tree is going to be one of our watering spots. Because I like to hide where the water is. And then we're going to tuck that right there. And then, what should I, should I just make? I think I'm just going to make it like a field. Like a little field of cotton that just sort of... But we'll always keep like this little border. So it'll always have this little border. And then we're going to come over here. And we're going to dig under this tree too. So pardon me tree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, little sip of tea there. And then we're going to tuck that right there. And I feel kind of bad that I destroyed the leaves. So let me fix the leaves. Uh, I'm just going to take a little from the bottom, you know, and tuck it right back on top. <laughs> okay, so let's just swap that out. Oh my gosh, so busy today. There we go. And then we're just going to continue the little cotton field that we're making. And there's that. Okay, we're going to come across like this, I think. And we'll do one more line. There we go. So this is going to be our little our little hidden cotton field where we will plant the cotton and we will try to get that going. Oh my gosh, how do I make cotton seeds? Oh, thank goodness. I was like, tell me you can make cotton seeds or else this won't work. There we go. So now we've got a little hidden cotton field. And it's beginning to grow the cotton. It's just a little to begin with, but we will add more cotton in the future. Um, and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and plant this peanut seed. Ooh, can I plant the wheat too? I'm going to plant this peanut seed, and no, you can't plant the wheat, <laughs> no wheat planting allowed, uh, just to let that grow while the cotton field expands. So there we go, we've got our little hidden cotton field. Um, I think I might make it so you can, we'll have like another tier of hidden cotton field, and whoops, getting a little bit of lag there, 
and maybe we'll make like a little path you can walk up to it from here yeah i like that i like that we'll make like a little hidden path you can walk up to it from there all right Woo, sorry about that good gracious there we go sorry about that my friends there was a wee bit of a lag kick but i think it's good now now we are going to run to the clinic oh and hello zebra you again Woo, sorry about that guys we had a massive lag spike as we hit the village probably because everything was loading <laughs> so now we are here in the clinic and we are going to cure our zombies i'm so excited okay first things first we need to make a little bit of room we have definitely overloaded the uh, good old inventory. So actually, let me open up this backpack. There we go. Let's throw all of the unnecessary things away. All of you guys, just go ahead. I found more cotton on the way here. I got excited. I was like, yay, cotton. Okay, so we're going to put the baby zombie in here. And everybody else we're going to cure. So we need to like gently take out all of the zombies and the only one we're recatching is the baby zombie uh, and the other guys can hang out in the reusable safari net till we cure them and we're going to cure them with these golden apples and these syringes and here's one syringe already prepared with the de-zombification syringe so nice that we know modern medical science so that we can do this for them it's just wonderful all right we still have one golden apple left so i'm going to gently put that away and we're gonna swap these out. There we go, there we go. I'm gonna eat a little bit of veggie soup just because I have a feeling these patients might be a little bit hard to deal with. They might have a little bit of orneriness going on with them. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna see, is this, is this a cure zombie or is this a baby biter? It is a cure you zombie. There you go. Okay. Ugh. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Oh, he's really got us. But he's being cured. We just really have to get out of here. Oh my gosh, he really did some damage. You, sir, can pack a punch. Oh my gosh. What are your traits, my good friend? <laughs> Flint? All of that trouble for Flint? I question your I question your morals, sir. So let's heal up for a second, because ow! Ow! Uh, and there's the old guy who who's just healing. He what is his trade again? He's just healing because he took some damage and we brought him here to heal up. Some gold ingots for an, an iron or an emerald. So maybe we'll talk with him once we have more golden ore berries producing. Oh my gosh, that really hurt. Let's move things around a little bit so that now we have we have it in a pattern of zombie syringe versus and the only one we really need is for the ankle biter. Okay, let's do this again. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Out, 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 out. Closed door, closed door. Ha, he can't figure out the door. Take that. All right. How's it going? How do you feel? Do you still want brains? I can't see them. They get, like, shy and go into the corner when this happens. Oh, you're a tinker. Hello. So he's an iron ore berry trading tinker. Very nice to meet you. In you go. You can hang out with our other tinker. All right, I'm pretty sure this is the ankle biter. All right, but let's, I don't know, they kind of moved around. Uh, ankle biter, he's even carrying some of his dead comrades. That's so spooky. But we might start the baby zombie daycare. That would be fun. All right, and then last guy. Mm. How you feeling? Is everything going all right? He's like, no. All right, trembling a little bit. I think it's almost over. There we go. There we go. And he gives us shears, so he's like a fellow botanist. Nice to meet you, sir. Come on in. And oh my gosh, my gear has been taking so much damage lately. I'm going to have to definitely fix it up later. Woo! All right, well, that was fun. Let me put my, my syringes that we're totally not reusing, because you should never, ever, ever, not even joking, do that, away. And then we're going to take the baby zombie and I'll put him away in a little bit. And we're going to go take these guys to Junior and JJ's place and then deliver our bat to the bat cave. And then, by the way, check out all the ostriches. Yeah, Dandy might have to collect some ostrich meat because they kind of breed really quickly. But look at these guys. I found these guys the other day. They haven't left this area. So it's like you have an eight-headed ostrich. 
It's sort of a thing of beauty in its own frightening way, isn't it? Oh my gosh, it, it's... Look at that. It's like a hydra. It's an ostrich hydra. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so let's wiggle our way home. Put these guys away. Take out my sword of light just in case. Any, any, more, any more cotton? 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 No, but dandelions. I do love the dandelions. For a future dandelion garden. Oh, I love how well lit up this place is. This is the way the whole zoo needs to look. With lots and lots of proper, like, beautiful lamps on little little pillars and things like that. Alright, let's get in here. And actually, I think there's some more pumpkins for us to collect. What was that noise? Oh my gosh! What even? What even? What? What is happening? Who set me on fire? Why can I not get off fire? What's going on? Help! All of my cats are freaked out. Persephone is freaked out. Major Calhoun, Captain Kaz. All of my cats are like, what just happened here? Okay. Okay, I don't know if I can cope with whoever that was because they dealt me a lot of damage. Ugh, freaking get down here, vegetable soup. I'm trying to eat you. Who was that? Was that some sort of ghost? It's okay, kitties. It's okay. You know what? Oh, there he is. Look at him. We're going to catch him. We're going to get him. Uh, do I have... I have a water bucket, in fact. Mm -hmm. I'm going to dig out my water bucket. All right, hang on, kitties. No wonder the cats are so agitated. Where is he? Come here! The cats are on to you! Come fight me! Are you scared of me because I have my cats, eh? I hear him. Hey, leave my boys alone! Are you harassing my kids? Is he harassing my kids? Whoops. No, those are the cherry blossoms. Where is he? Turnip head, where'd he go? I hear him. Oh, the cats are so agitated. Where is he? He's still howling. Alright, let's climb onto the roof. We have we have we're we've got a ghost issue on our hands. Alright, we're going, we're going, we're going. Wait. Do you hear him? I hear him. All right, we're going onto the balcony. Oh yeah, there you are. Get in here. Okay, and I'm on fire. Okay, we're good. Sorry, sorry, kitties, Major Calhoun. I'm sorry. <laughs> we just caught a freaking flame wrath. <laughs> what a night! What a night! I did not expect to run into a freaking a freaking ghost while we were out and about doing our thing. What a busy, busy night. Let's go pop into our bed before anything else happens. I'm going to lose my gear if this keeps up. But you know what that flame wrath reminded me of? All of my cats are so agitated. Major Calhoun is agitated. Artemis is agitated. Nightlock is agitated. <laughs> my poor cats. Persephone, is that you? No, that's Captain Kaz. I'm going to have to like, find my cats. They've gone to the, they've gone everywhere because they're just like, oh my gosh. All right, where's, and then Bella has disappeared. Okay, the cats did not like that ghost. They didn't like that ghost at all, but you know what? We caught it. We caught it in a safari net. So that was interesting. Oh, look, and there's a werewolf. You know what? I'm going to go to bed, guys, and then I will see you guys in the morning when we put our new villagers away, we name our new bat, and we continue working on our cave exhibit. So I will see you guys then. Bye-bye!